Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio 10, we have what is now called fractional blurring. So what does this mean exactly? Well, let's go into our layer settings and check it out. So I can double click on this layer in my layers panel. That brings me into the layer settings. Now we have a blur option here, but we also have, of course, the blur options here as well. This will apply to all areas where you can apply a blur. So if we come back here to general, we'll just apply it to the layer itself. We can now enter fractions into the field here. So I could put 0.57 and hit apply and it will now accept it. This was not the case before. You couldn't do this before. It was one, two, three, four, and so on. Basically whole numbers. So at first glance, 0.57, that's not going to do much for us when we render this out. However, if we are looking more towards animation, animating our blur effects out, then this will have a significant impact on the quality of that transition. Instead of going from one to two to three to four, and maybe getting a popping effect as it went from those steps, you can now have a more seamless transition. So as an example, let me just go to frame one here and I will apply this particular blur effect here. I can then go to frame 24 and then I'll put in two and hit apply. I now have two keyframes on the timeline and as I page back, you can see that it is going through all these numbers and it's really breaking it down. So when we render this out then, you'll have a much more seamless transition when you go from point A to point B with your blur effect. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you next time.